These two statements, if you take a look at how it wasn't a joint one, they came out with separate ones, and there were a bit of, I guess, differences in how they relayed what came out. Does that just show the discord that we still have between the two nations? No, I, I think really what it shows is they're both playing to a domestic audience. Uh, you know, sometimes we talk about kind of ships passing in the night. It's clearly almost like two sides like spinning differently into the night. Um, but I think what was clear, though, was that there was an agreement, at least for these next 90 days, January, uh, 90 days forward, that, you know, I call it a pause. People are using the word truce, but really a pause in what has been really a tariffs war. You know, some people are saying a trade war, but it's really a, a pause uh, because 90 days later, 10% uh, may well go to 25% on that, what, 200 billion uh, in goods. Unless they work out or find an agreement on what seems to be a list of just very complicated issues. I mean, these aren't sort of the issues that you would be able to solve in 90 days. These were imbalances built up over two decades. Absolutely. You know, I, you know, I don't think President Trump gets enough credit for trying to reset the China-U.S. relationship. But clearly the issues he is addressing really stem from 20, 25 uh, years ago as the U.S.-China business trading relationship evolved. But I think both sides uh, are trying to come to an agreement. The markets certainly have recognized uh, it positively, at least in the near term, with markets throughout Asia, if you've noted throughout this morning, uh, reacting fairly well with the hope that at least the tariffs were, will not intensify, uh, at least in the short term. So what do you mean by we're not giving enough credit to Trump? Is it the fact that Previous administrations, you kind of mentioned these kind of U.S. and China trade tensions, they kind of sweep it under the rug. At least right now, are we seeing these issues actually come out openly and at least we're addressing some of these issues too? Is that what you're kind of... Yeah, I think President Trump uh, has really put out there in, in a way that I think other nations sometimes are afraid to. I'm not just talking about the U.S., but certainly here in our Asia-Pacific region. But uh, President Trump has called out uh, what all of us who go in and out of China know uh, is that it's less than a free and fair uh, uh, trading relationship with China and so many nations. You know, when you get off the plane in Beijing, uh, you can't do Gmail. Uh, you can't read the New York Times on your uh, 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 phone. Uh, mirror phone doesn't even work. Um, you know, very just little anecdotes of a relationship that I think President Trump has been very clear in saying we need an adjustment. Who do you think blinked, though, the most? Exactly what I was going to ask. <laughs> yeah. You know, I hate to uh, talk about uh, blinking. I think clearly now the ball remains in China's uh, court. You know, all, when we talk about, you know, at least on those two lists of what was stated, I don't know what they agreed to, uh, but clearly when we look at those lists, a lot of the, the next actions rest in many ways on China. Um, and, and I think, you know, I think from my lessons from, you know, way back when Reagan, Bush, Clinton, uh, Obama, I think the way forward needs to absolutely lead to the development of a face-saving way out, really for both sides. You know, no one wants to embarrass China, no one wants to embarrass the United States. But can these two sides come together in a way that their domestic audience see there's a win for each of us? So I don't want to focus on who blinks, but I would rather focus on what will be a more positive result if all this leads to a more fair, more balanced trading will, relationship. Will it? That's certainly my hope. And I think as we're seeing, uh, you know, sometimes the markets are much smarter than me. But the markets so I mean, far have said this progress has led to a little bit more certainty that these things will not get worse in the near term. The 